In this video I will teach the micro bit how to control a servo motor. We start by teaching it to ring a bell, 3 beats, pause, 2 beats, pause, 1 beat. It learns by turning a potentiometer. When I press button A the sequence is repeated. Robots are often used in the industry, for example, for manufacturing and painting cars. To explain how the microbit can store robotic data, we start with a program that displays a random number each time I press button A. When I press button B, the numbers are repeated in a long row. The row expands if I press button A again. Pressing A and B deletes all the numbers. The numbers are stored in an array. Often you have to decide how many entries the array should contain. But if you do not know the number, you can create an empty array. It must have a name, here it is called list. Now you can fill in numbers at the end of the array with this block. We imagine that we have made a list of random numbers. The numbers can be found again using an index. It starts at 0. At index 3 the number is 9. The program we used before looks like this. Here the empty array is created, and each time you press button A, a random number is added. When you press button B, the program reads how many entries there are in the array, and then runs a loop that shows the number one at a time. When a robot has to perform complex movements, it also happens from a set of data. Some robots can be coded using virtual reality, where the programmer must imagine painting a product. In this way, the data that the robot will use afterwards is saved. Instead of virtual reality, we use a potentiometer. By turning it, you can save some data, which the microbit can use afterwards to repeat the movements that the servo motor must perform. When I press button A, the sequence is repeated. The setup looks like this.
and the diagram is here. By turning the potentiometer, I can apply a certain voltage to P1. If I turn it all the way to one side, P1 gets 3 volts. And if I turn it all the way to the opposite side, P1 gets 0 volts. The program converts the voltage on P1 to the number of degrees that the servo motor must rotate. An analog value of 1023 corresponds to 3 volts. The forever sequence waits for the voltage to change. This happens when the potentiometer is turned and then volt and the waiting time are written in two arrays. When you press button A, the repeat function runs. Here a loop runs the same number of times as there is data and after each entry the server motor is activated. When you see the program in make code, you can try to run it in the simulator. Here is the same setup and the same program. Now the door opens in certain jerks, which are repeated when you press button A. Here I have a grabber claw with a server motor. It must learn how to grab some bricks. Now I keep activating the grabber claw to see how many times it can run before the microbit runs out of memory. After 10 to 15 times I get an error 021. Microbit version 2 can contain 8 times as much data as version 1.